if we can see the first part, which is that the ego is purely fictitious, that it is a symbol or image of oneself, plus a sensation of muscular strain occasioned by trying to make this symbol an effective agent to control emotion, to concentrate, to direct the nervous operations of the organism. Then immediately it is clear that what we have called ourselves, what we have thought of as ourselves, isn't able to do anything at all. There follows this kind of silence in which there is nothing to do except watch what happens. But what is happening is watching itself. There is nobody apart from it watching it. And so we get into the state of meditation, or as I prefer to call it, contemplation. So then the next problem that arises is, well, what about all the other illusions? Although they are somehow integrated and centered upon the illusion of ego, Nevertheless, the whole value system of what is important, what is not important, what is good, what is bad, what is pleasant, what is painful, has to be called in question. Not in order to destroy the whole value system, but in order to see it for what it is. <laughs> 